Take State Road 50 west from Orlando into Lake County and you'll reach the Gem of the Hills. The city of Claremont was founded in the 1880s. This historic village overlooking Lake Mineola is home to seven buildings that shaped the community's character. During most of the 20th century, Claremont was known for one very big thing. The rolling lake dotted countryside that is ideal for raising Florida's $200 million annual citrus crop extends over an area 175 miles long and 100 miles wide through which U.S. Highway 27 Citrus Boulevard passes. Many of the Sunshine State's highways, communities, tourist attractions, and resorts can be attributed directly to this vast citrus industry. And citrus is where we will start our list of recommendations today. We're running down 10 things you can't miss in Claremont. From two classic roadside attractions side by side to one of the highest points in the state of Florida, one of the best wineries in the southeast, and a downtown that's becoming a local destination for foodies. All of that and so much more straight ahead from Central Florida. Dominating one of the largest hills in this part of the state is the Florida Citrus Tower. The 226 foot tall structure opened in 1956 as a tribute to the region's citrus industry. The highest observation point in the state, it overlooks scenes of unbelievable beauty. The Citrus Tower, they say in Claremont, was built by tourism and vitamin C. Located in the heart of Florida's orange and grapefruit country, the tower gives visitors an unusual perspective for their first look at the famous groves. Visitors can still take an elevator ride to the tower's glass-enclosed observation deck for 360-degree views of lakes and rolling hills. From up here, you can sit down and enjoy a cup of joe while watching the traffic down below. Next door to the Citrus Tower is another classic, the President's Hall of Fame. This roadside attraction has been educating visitors on U.S. presidential history for decades. You'll find wax figures, original artifacts, and a number of replicas. Most impressive is the miniature White House, an entirely handmade model that has continued to evolve since 1962. We've now made our way over to historic downtown Claremont. At the Lake Mineola waterfront, there's a lot of places to take in the views. The South Lake Trail runs through here, earning Claremont the title of Florida's bicycle-friendly community of the year. Victory Points is a 10-acre passive park with lots of fun stuff to do, including this observation tower. Next door is the Claremont Historic Village, home to a number of original buildings that beautifully illustrate the community's rich heritage. 
Shops on and near Montrose Street are proudly owned and operated by locals. Brand new is the Galleria at Soma, a marketplace with a variety of small shops and eateries. We enjoyed a watermelon-flavored tea slushy from Tea Mont Boba, so refreshing on a hot day. Everything from hip boutiques, a shop focusing on pop culture, antique and home stores, and a brick and mortar that caters to the everyday fisherman can be found in downtown Claremont. A number of places here in the downtown area quickly making Claremont a destination for local foodies. Montrose Street Market is a food hall that offers an artisan curated experience where the vendors take their dishes to the next level. The downtown exchange has more than a dozen vendors serving the best eats, drinks, and out of the ordinary items. In this building, you'll find a coffee shop, a bar with elevated spirits and small bites, and a cookie shop. Twisted Sugar will help you fall in love with cookies again. That is, if you ever fell out of love with cookies. One more place to get your sugar fix, and that's Sugar Mama's Candy Bar. This cute little shop has all your candy essentials, along with cool snow cones and the Mimosa Bar Blush and Bubbles. Family owned and operated, the Showcase of Citrus has been growing over 50 different types of citrus crops since 1989. From you pick citrus and monster truck tours of the ranch to a general store stocked with all kinds of fresh products, this is a stop you have to make. And did I mention the photo ops? They're all over the place. you'll find one of the best wineries in the Southeast located in Claremont. The Lake Ridge Winery has been around since 1989 and produces some of the finest wines using the wonderfully sweet muscadine grape grown in their vineyards. A complimentary tour of the facility is a great way to learn more about the winemaking process. Then step up to the bar for a free wine tasting session by one of Lake Ridge's experts. Be sure to check out their website for a list of current events. They hold a number of special events throughout the year. Covering more than 100 acres, Southern Hill Farms is family owned and operated known for its seasonal UPIC events. Blueberries dominate 40 acres of the property, with peaches taking up five acres. The grounds are open to the public at harvest time in the spring and fall. During the autumn festival, you can enjoy apple cider donuts, blueberry lemonade, frozen and hot apple cider, blueberry cobbler, and lots of other great treats. Southern Hill is very family friendly with lots of amenities that will help you leave the stress of the city behind. A patchwork of 10 different lakes linked by wetlands and creeks makes Lake Louisa State Park a fun place to explore. Here you'll find all types of recreational activities from boating, fishing, and camping to over 20 miles of hiking trails and beautiful spots to enjoy a picnic. At 312 feet above sea level, Sugarloaf Mountain is the fifth highest name point in the state of Florida and the highest point on the geographic Florida Peninsula. Once covered in trees, logging in the early 20th century stripped the mountain of its natural vegetation, forever changing its appearance. Because of the challenge it provides, the mountain attracts many bike riders year-round, especially those living in flatter areas of the state. If you're looking for a quick bite with a scenic view, let me recommend the Tiki Bar and Grill on beautiful Lake Mineola. Located on property behind a bed and breakfast, this eatery has been a favorite of locals for over two decades. 
Their hamburgers have won multiple awards and the laid back atmosphere is pure Florida. You just can't beat this location. That's it, 10 things you can't miss in Claremont, Florida. What would you add to the list? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Do you enjoy this type of content? We'd love to have you sign up for our free newsletter, Gallivanter 75, where we provide quick tips and photos from some of our favorite places. Sign up now free at our website, chadgallivanter.com. More information about the content on this channel, including helpful maps and links available at our website. As always, thank you for watching. From Central Florida, see you next time.